Taking a look at their website, Golo appears to be less an actual weight loss program and more just a site to sell you a weight loss supplement they're calling release. You can see this is the case when you go to their shopping site and the only thing they're selling is this supplement. I see some online resources and dietary and lifestyle plans that come attached at the bottom, but they're not charging anything for them. You can't get any of these free resources without first buying Golo's release supplement. So is this supplement any good? Let's analyze it to see if it's worth your money, see if we can replicate it with a cheaper alternative and give it an overall rating. First, let's take a look at the ingredients. Here are the doses per capsule. The recommended dosing is one at each meal, so that's a daily dose of three per day. Right off the bat, a big problem with this supplement is that most of its ingredients are hidden behind what we call a proprietary blend. Proprietary blends allow supplement companies to avoid listing the exact amount of each ingredient within the blend. Sometimes these blends have special names like fat burning blend or detox mix that will list the ingredients within the blend but not the doses of each ingredient. You need to be very cautious about proprietary blends. It displays a lack of transparency on the part of the supplement. They can list an effective ingredient but only have trace amounts of it and you wouldn't be able to tell since the dose isn't listed. Some supplements will even use these proprietary blends to hide very low doses within their ingredient lists. This is why it's a good idea to avoid proprietary blends or mixes. If they're hiding the actual dose from you, it's much more difficult to determine whether you're getting an effective dose. With that in mind, let's try to analyze what we do know. Whenever supplements add any ingredient into their product, there are three very common issues. First is that the doses they use are way too small to be effective. Second is that they aren't using the active compounds. And third is that the ingredient itself has not reliably shown any beneficial effect in humans. When we analyze these ingredients, we're going to see which one of these issues they have. Let's start with the ingredients where we know the dosing. The minerals magnesium, zinc, and chromium are all involved in metabolism. There's some evidence that supplementing these minerals may help with obesity-related measures like inflammation or improving insulin sensitivity in those with metabolic diseases, but none of them have any significant effects on weight, meaning that they may help to support your weight loss but are not likely going to cause any weight loss themselves. Furthermore, these benefits only seem to appear in those who are deficient in these minerals in the first place or actually have insulin resistance problems like diabetes or PCOS. So you may get some benefit if your diet was quite restrictive to begin with, like supplementing magnesium if you're doing a strict keto diet, or supplementing zinc if you're following a strict vegan diet. But vegetables, legumes, nuts, seeds, and whole grains are all great dietary sources of magnesium and chromium, and animal meats are a great source of zinc. So if your diet is varied and you don't suffer from insulin resistance issues, supplementing these additional minerals won't be very helpful. Additionally, the dose of magnesium you get from Golo's release is not great and you'd probably do better with a regular magnesium citrate supplement. The remaining ingredients are more difficult to analyze since we don't actually know how much we're getting, but I can tell almost right away that if you're looking for it to help with your weight, you're gonna be disappointed. Rhodiola is used for its possible effects on cognition and wakefulness. There are no known direct effects on weight loss, however, it might help people become more active, meaning it may help people who are trying to increase their physical activity or exercise. We have no info on the dose here, so we cannot determine if this will be useful or not. Inositol, like the minerals, may be helpful for improving insulin sensitivity, particularly in those with PCOS. Whether this helps with weight loss is still debatable, but this may not matter since the effective doses used in studies range from 1 to 4 grams per day. Even if the entire proprietary blend was made of inositol, there still wouldn't be enough in this supplement. The next few herbs are really only known for their traditional uses, meaning that they were used by herbalists and holistic healers back in the day, but currently lack much evidence-based research. Their traditional uses included reducing inflammation and helping with insulin resistance. Except for perhaps berberine, the rest of the herbs lack any evidence for their traditional uses, so it will be hard to determine their effectiveness, if any. 
there is some evidence that berberine can help improve insulin sensitivity in those with diabetes or PCOS. But the doses they use in those studies range from 1 to 2 grams per day. Again, insufficient in GOLO release. From the listed ingredients, my main concern would be the berberine contained within. We're not sure exactly how much is in there, but berberine can interfere with other medications. It affects the way your liver metabolizes certain drugs, meaning that taking it with other drugs could reduce the effectiveness of the drug or increase its level in the body to toxic levels. So if you're taking any medication, particularly medications that go through the liver like cyclosporin, you need to ask your doctor to see if it's safe for you to take. Berberine is also unsafe if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. Golo's release appears to be more catered toward improving insulin sensitivity rather than weight loss. So if you had insulin resistance issues like were diabetic or had PCOS, it might theoretically be helpful for your condition, even if it didn't really help you lose weight. Although even if you did have insulin resistance, you would probably do much better by simply reducing the amount of carbohydrate in your diet. For example, by going on a low carb or keto diet, rather than trying to take a supplement with a bunch of poorly researched herbs. Overall, Golo Release is essentially just an overpriced zinc and chromium supplement. For the other herbal ingredients, the doses obtained from Golo Release are either too low or lack any evidence of benefit, and likely will not have any effect on weight loss. It's also pretty expensive as a supplement, with a 90 pill bottle costing $50. Because you're taking 3 per day, that's about $50 per month. Compared to if you were to just supplement chromium, which is $3 to $4 a month, and zinc, which is $1 to $2 a month, you can essentially mimic what Golo Release provides you for around $4 to $6 per month just by supplementing them individually. Rating Golo Release by effectiveness for weight loss, I'm giving it a D. It basically works to support those with insulin resistance issues, not really help you lose weight. And even if you have insulin resistance issues, taking it without following a proper weight loss diet or lifestyle is not likely going to have any effects on weight whatsoever. Rating it by cost, I'm giving it an F. It can essentially be replicated by getting individual ingredients at a cost approximately 10 times less. Rating it for safety, I'm giving it a C. It may not be safe for those taking medication since berberine can interfere with them. Overall rating, I'm giving an F. I would recommend you stay away from it. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Young. Do you think it's worth it? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel and leave me a like. Hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date and share this video with someone you know who can use the info.